How's it going? Well, I didn't finish last night, obviously. And I can't go outside. It's raining and raining and raining. It's been raining all day. But I have two more power prayer points. And then I'll have uh, wrapped up this assignment. Okay, six. The Bible's historical and scientific accuracy. That's a big one. The Bible is not a history textbook, but it mentions hundreds of cities and persons in its pages, just like many works of fiction. I guess it lends some verisimilitude to almost any story. Many of these lay forgotten under the dust of centuries. Bible critics decided that the writers had simply invented people such as the Hittites and King David. These historical fictions were examples of the inaccuracies that supposedly riddled the Bible. Along came archaeologists with their shovels to the rescue. <sighs> Out of ancient ruins rose dead men to tell tales of days long gone. Tales that again and again confirmed Bible history and left the critics with red faces because they were really disappointed that things aren't going their way. Because, you know, when you presuppose a conclusion and you get a different conclusion, what are you going to do then? Get red-faced, I guess. Maybe even butt-hurt. Mm. Neither is the Bible a scientific textbook. Well, it's got text in it, and it's in a book form. Just trying to help here. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's better. It was written in an unscientific age to address the spiritual needs of men, not to explain their surroundings because they didn't have that data available. So they just had useful myths. But God, who authored the Bible, is also the creator of the natural world, where the word of God speaks on scientific matters, it speaks accurately. And the sun also rises. It's all poetic. Job stated thousands of years ago that God hangeth the earth upon nothing. Who says it's hanging upon nothing? Who says it's hanging? I don't think it's hanging. That would have suggest there's some kind of a Christmas ornament kind of tether keeping it from dropping into that nothing. And it's hanging from nothing. Nobody's saying that except Job, apparently, or whoever wrote it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's Job 26.7 if you want to cut down that scientific detail there. Get ready for a change, head change and a change of heart. Maybe. Uh, the answer is that God knows 
and Job was inspired to write accurately about things he could not know, because Job wrote his own book, apparently. <sighs> Job was up for the job. Job was inspired to write accurately about things he could not know. Today, many ridicule the Bible as hopelessly unscientific and behind the times. It is hardly too much to say that science has displa displaced Christianity as the religion of the Western world. The scientific, the scientific method has replaced divine revelation as the way to truth. It's Okay, and the scientist has displaced the theologian as guide and priest. Can scientists marry you? I wonder. Because I'd like to, you know, if I ever get married, maybe Neil deGrasse Tyson could, you know, do the scientific ceremonies. That's right. I don't think there's even any ceremonies in science, is there? I don't know. Beware! God is always far ahead of men, and his word will most surely be vindicated in the end. Strong case they're building here. And that's, in, that's their entire explanation. They're done. Okay, what did you learn, class? <laughs> well, except for the word the, that the earth hangs from nothing, from nothing with nothing. I guess. It's hanging there. Hanging there. All right, well, just one more to go. I'm going to polish it off right now and wrap this bad boy up and then we'll have a we'll have a D, &D dice roll eight-sided dice for the next one next two videos peace fuck out have a wonderful whatever the fuck you're having or just watch the next video that won't be as good but i'd appreciate it